Folks, what's up? This is Damien from bubblehacks.io. Welcome to this short tutorial on optimizing your bubble app for various sizes of mobile screens. Let's dive right into it. I've prepared a sample setup on a page of 812 by 375 pixels. That's the size of an iPhone X. We have some sort of home tab with a header, a um, repeating group that lets us display some content to our users, and a floating group anchored to the bottom that serves as navigation. We also have a one-step simple onboarding group, and this is what we're going to optimize today. Let's see how this looks. By the way, I'm using Responsive Viewer here. That's a nice little Chrome plugin that lets you render your website on various screen sizes and see how it looks. Okay, the home tab looks fine. Let's see our onboarding group. And there's a couple of problems. Notice how on the iPhone X screens, it looks perfect because that's what I designed for. Um, on a smaller iPhone screen, we have the problem that the skip button is below default, so the user has to scroll down to actually see it, which is not optimal at all. And on a larger iPhone screen, we have some white space down here, and also the whole content is pretty much cramped to the top, which is something you want to avoid. Let's tackle the easy part first and start with moving these two buttons higher up. One simple way to do this is to use a collapsible group. What you could do is head over to your plugins, install a plugin called CSS Tools, which lets you tap into various CSS properties of your apps. Once you've done that, go back to your app, grab the CSS Tools element, just drag it somewhere on the page. Go back to your onboarding group, grab a empty group, put it just above your buttons, something like that. Make sure it doesn't have a fill and then scroll down and make sure collapses elements height when hidden is checked. Head over to your conditions, define a new condition based on the CSS tools, current page height. Let's say if the page height is smaller than 800 pixels, we want this to be hidden, so not visible. Let's head back, see if that worked. And voila, our buttons have moved up. Notice, however, we can still scroll down and then there's now some white space down here because we're reducing the size of our onboarding group but not of the page itself. Before we tackle that, however, let's address this white space on the large screen. One easy way to do this is to add some CSS to our app. Um, you could start off by going to your settings, general, and then make sure that the expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements checkbox is checked. And also head back to your plugins and install a plugin called Classify. This lets us add CSS classes to our bubble elements. So once you've done that, go back to your app and let's define a CSS class. The easiest way to do this is grab an HTML element, just drag it somewhere on the page, click into it, and let's open a style tag and also close it off. This lets our browser know that in between we're going to define some CSS styles, and here we can define our class. Let's just call it full height. And what we want to do is say all elements of the class full height just have a height of 100% of the viewport height. So the viewport is basically just a fancier name for your screen size. And let's also make sure to give this an important rule that essentially makes sure that this is always applied and overrides all other size settings your element might have. Okay. Once we've defined our class, let's just copy and paste this here. We can go back to our onboarding group, select it, scroll down here to the ID attribute, and use the classify syntax that's in detail described in the classify documentation. That for now, just add the class of full height here, and let's see if that worked. We go back to our app, refresh, go to our onboarding group, and voila, we now have a onboarding group that uses our full screen. Let's go back here to our problem with the white space down here. The, the issue here is that we control the size of the group but not the size of the page. So what we can do is just apply this class of full height that we've just defined not only to our group but to our page ourselves. Go to the editor, select the page. It's called index2 for me, for you it's probably just index. 
and let's add a condition where we say when the group onboarding is visible we want to give it an id attribute and that's simply adding the class that we've defined before let's see if that worked okay voila i can't scroll down anymore but we've created a new issue if we go back this class is still applied and we can't scroll down and see the content of our repeating group to fix that we can go back to our conditions and say if our view onboarding is not visible we want to remove the class that we've just created so again copy paste this here and replace this with remove this should remove it again once we hide the onboarding group and fix that problem okay we load the page everything scrolls nicely we go into our onboarding group we can't scroll anymore we go back we can scroll again that works let's tackle the last problem what i want to do is give a little bit more space above the content here and move it all a bit further down one way to do this is some padding let's define another style in our c in our html tab go back to the html tab let's define a new class call it large screen for example and we want to do is give all the elements of this class a padding top of let's say 100 pixels and then we copy paste this go back to our onboarding group and let's just to make it easy group all the elements we have here in one group and give this group a condition where we say if css tools a current page height is larger than let's say 850 pixels we want to give it a new id attribute and which is simply add the class that we've just created let's see if that worked okay this looks good still we go to onboard again voila our content has moved down and now you can see on all screen sizes it actually looks good so that's it. If you like that, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter on bubblehacks.substack.com and I'm looking forward to see you soon.